Hi, this is Kay Lowry, and today I want to talk to you about how to practice with an iPhone and practice space. When you log on, it will look like this, and you will want to click your green button. I usually say, let's go now. And here is where I am looking under the word today. You can see a little green line right under today. Another thing that if I can't see any assignments, I might want to check past lessons. And if I see past lessons, I might be able to click in on that and see my assignments. Now, I don't see anything on notes. See the little line? So I will click on assignment and then I'll be able to see the assignments. Now, because I am using this the same day as a lesson, I'm going to click the back button and I'm going to go back to today. All right. Instead of my videos or past lessons, I'm going to go back to today because that's what I have. I'm practicing the same day as my lesson. So I'm going to click on assignments and here it says 1A. If you see a number like 1A or 2B, that means you are in an Alfred Premier lesson book. And this is my way of giving you an assignment in the lesson book. So if you see that and you see some numbers, those are your page numbers in the book. So you'll click on that assignment. It's very important to touch it. And then you'll see the detail. Those are things I want you to know. And then you'll click on attachments. And no, Miss Kay hasn't given us attachments. So we'll go back to detail. And what you will do is you will open your book and go to the piano. And you'll practice those pages. When you are done, you're going to click the X right here and you will go right back here and you will click and you will have another gem. See, I just got a gem. So that means I'm done with that particular assignment for today. Maybe I didn't feel like I completed learning it, but I worked on it and that's important. Let's say that you have MFLM. That means you are in Music for Little Mozarts. And the book number and the page number will follow that. So let's say that I click that and it says, watch the video attached. So for younger students, I have attached a video and it's part of your lesson to watch my video. This week you'll be doing pages 17 and 18. And I want you to watch this whole thing and you don't have to have a parent tell you and read to you because you can figure it out. It's pretty cool. And again, when I'm done, I am going to find the X. I'm gonna click on the X and I'm going to practice in my Music for Little Mozart's book. That's what I'm supposed to be doing now. And so when I am done practicing in the book, I click the X, find the X when you're done, and then please click on your green, make your, make your check mark green so you can get another gem. These are all little tips to help you. Often you will also see an assignment here that says home challenge. If you see something that says home challenge, click on it. Go to your iPad, do Piano Maestro, and then come back here and click on the green check mark. Today we don't have a home challenge, but we might. That's always important. <clears throat> then we have a theory assignment. So we're going to click on it and we're going to read the assignment. And there are three parts to this theory assignment. You may not have time to work on all three parts every day. It's okay. Go to the first one. It says video number one. Click on attachment. 
and you are going to click on um, a video. Maybe you'll watch this one. And it has um, a YouTube video and you watch it. When you are done, find the X. Click the X. When you are done with that, if you have time, click on Flip It's Beginner Intervals and it's me giving you some instructions about this unit. Students, your assignment this week is beginner. It will tell you what to do when you're done listening to me. Click the X. Now, this is important. So when you are working on theory, the Quizlet is your test. But don't get worried. It is a game. So you will click on Quizlet. And it will say step or skip. And what I'm going to do is if I want to study it, I can click and go to the advance to the next one. And I can use this like flashcards. That is a great way to study it. But if I think I'm ready for the match game, I'm just going to scroll down and click match start game and I know that if I touch something that has a space and a line that that is a step and if it's line to line it's skip so I'm going to go through this game and I am going to find the steps and it says I'll maybe do that later it says oops Let's do it again. Step, skip, skip, step, skip. And it tells me right down here that my best time is 11.8 seconds. And so I want to tell Ms. K that's my best time, 11.8. Can you remember that number? Then I will click on the X what I'm going to do is I am going to click on this X. I am done practicing. I'm going to click on my um, green check mark, and then I want to make a video and tell Miss K. So I'm going to click on add video. You might have to give permission to the app to make a video, and then I'm going to click. Hi, this is Happy Practicer, and I did my Quizlet in 11.8. It's going to make a video. I'm going to give it a name. Quizlet. OK. And it saves my video. There it is. I've just told Miss K about my practice. You can do that with anything if you want to send me a video about anything. And there you go. You can add a video every practice. If you add a video, please let me know. I will be checking, but I might miss it. So please let me know if you add a video. When I'm all done practicing, I'm going to click the red button and I'm going to say I'm done practicing and I can rate my practice and click done. And there I go. That is how to use this app on a phone.